G'day guys, welcome back. Um, I've got a 2008 Mercedes W211 E-Class sedan. Um, we're just gonna remove the door trim on this and I also need to remove this quarter glass. Um, my purpose that I'm doing it is I'm wrapping the entire door so I've got to take the door handles out. So maybe we'll extend the video um, just to cover those things. But for now, just to pop this door trim off, you have a little cover here, it says SRS airbag. Just pop a plastic tool in behind there, just at the top, and then just grab it from the left hand side, and then just twist anti-clockwise, and then that cover will come straight off. Gets a little stuck in behind the little the leather trim there, but it comes straight off. Uh, inside there is a T27, just like we've got one in behind this plate here, and also down here. So for this one down here, just get your fingers in there, and pop it from the bottom and pull towards you, and then pull down and that little cover plate comes straight off. Um, this plate here, I've just got a door trim uh, plastic tool here. So just pop that in the side here, and then again, just rotate anti-clockwise, and that will pop straight off. And for video purposes, it's not. So just pop that in there and just break the seal, and then just pull back towards you, and come straight off. So we've got our T27s, we've got one here. I'll pop that straight on the door trim so I don't lose it. And these two here. Alrighty. Now once you've got that off, we do have a T20. So I'm just going to swap my bits. And this in here, here's your T20. This little cover plate here, sorry, um, it comes out and pull down and it's got like a little notch in there to lock back up into place and then the screw goes back in. Once we've got that, it's pretty much it. Um, they're quite a simple door trim this. Easiest way to do it is follow through down this right hand side Pop your trim tool in here, and then just on this bottom corner, just try and get the trim in behind the actual trim. So you don't want to really separate this speaker cover from the door trim, so make sure you get right in behind. And just pop evenly, like so. Once you've released the trim, lift it up, just crack the seal from that side. And I'll also grab, uh, I've got a couple of S-hooks here. So if you're re removing this for window tint, then you can just lift it straight up like that. And once you have removed your seal here, then you can get your S-hook and then just hook it up there and block it on like so. Uh, but the purpose for us, we're actually removing the entire trim. So to do that, you do have your door cable here. This door cable here will hook onto the back of the trim and then you stretch it out and it locks back into that little sleeve there. Uh, the actual plugs are pretty self-explanatory. Once you get it there, there's a little tab on the right hand side for this data cable. And you've also got this speaker cable here. The speaker cable does actually disconnect from the speaker itself, like so. And then you've got this cable here for your other switches. Can't imagine what that would be. You've got your power window switch and something else. Put the trim aside. Uh, now, we do have to remove this plastic seal here. Also a good little trick is when you are pulling everything apart, not really a trick, but a good habit to get into, just get your door trim plugs. Because you don't want to damage in behind there, I'll just sort of grab it in behind the actual plug itself, or in the middle, pop to the side. 
and that way they can go straight in the back of the trim when you're ready to go. So now the trim is off, I'm going to remove this cover here. It's not very hard, just get your fingers in behind it and just separate it. And whatever you do, just these cars are obviously getting a bit old now, just be very, very careful and just try not to tear it and just work it away. So you'll see, you'll see there's a little uh, the locking button here, goes up and down like so. If you pull up, lay it down, and just pull straight out, then that way you won't do any damage. So the next thing we want to do to get to the release bracket on the back of the handle is we need to remove this door support here. And the door support has just got a couple little clips, um, just one that you push in here and the other one is behind these wires. So you push that in and you're going to rotate it clockwise. So once you rotate it clockwise, then I'll just sort of twist it to the left a little bit and then just release it and pull it straight out. Now the release bracket is in here. Now this part you don't need to do it, but I'm going to pull this out so that I can get the camera in and show you what you need to press. So I'm just going to release a couple of little clips here. And pull those out of the way. I'm going to slide this bad boy out. Okay, so I'm going to bring the camera in a bit closer and show you what we're going to do. Alright, so that's the image that I'm trying to show you. So that's the actual plug for the um, the door, the electronic door release where you can press a button from the outside. So what you want to do is that's on like a like a seesaw, like a swivel. So you want to push that in on the right hand side, which we'll do now. So you probably can't see what I'm doing because there's no torch, but I'm just going to push that in and you'll feel it. You'll feel it move and you just push it in on the right hand side uh, so that it ends up looking a little bit like that on an angle. I'm sorry about the bad focusing, it's very hard to hold a light. There it is. So we're just going to do that. So that sort of gives you a description of what you're doing. So all you need to do is maybe get a torch in there. Once you release that, then you've got uh, a line of sight to be able to press that little switch in, and then you can just do it from here. You don't need to remove all that there. So once we've done that, what we need to do is remove a screw through here. So to do, get that done, I'm just going to point the door towards the camera. Now, just in here, there's a little hole, and you'll need to put a T20 in there, but you'll need a reasonably long one just because the standard ones don't seem to fit. So I had to find myself a set to actually reach the back of the um, the back of the handle here to release that. Okay, so I'll just show you the tool that I'm using. It's a T20, um, it's quite a long bit, and then I've got that connected to an extension with a little ratchet on the end of it. So what you wanna do is pop that in through here. And once you locate it, I think I've worked out it's about, as well, I've done the other side, um, it's about 11 quarter turns. So, and the reason why I was counting is because you can actually wind it out too far and, you, and it stops you from getting out the, um, the little uh, release thing on the back of the handle here. So we'll just count one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, um, So the trick to here is you wanna open the handle just slightly. You want to get the back of it and push it forward and then kind of pull it out on that 45 degree angle. And when I get it out, I'll show you why. Just on the back of it here um, is just a couple of little teeth. 
and those teeth lock in to here and prevent you from just pulling it straight out. So you will need to pull the back out and then release that. And then once you've done that, because we've already pushed our release tab down, then just move it to the right, give it a wiggle, make sure you keep this guy, and then feed out the wires, like so. Now you'll kind of find that it won't come out all the way, so it's just because the wires are too short, but you can get it out enough just to be vertical, and then when it is vertical, just get a little pick tool, push the little tab to the left, and then pull the wires straight out like so. And then there's your release for your handle. All right, so the next step we've got to do, now that we've done all that, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna poke this thing through. So like I said earlier, we don't need to remove that, just to give you an idea of where that little lever is that we've got to pop down for the door handle. So I'll just slide that back in for now. So what we need to do now is we need to locate a little screw that is up in here to be able to take the quarter glass out. So we're gonna use the same T20 um, torque bit that we used earlier to take out the handle. And you're going to just grab this rubber, obviously wind your window down. So pull that rubber aside and you'll see just up in here uh, is the T20 that we need to remove. So what we'll do is we'll grab our T20, poke that up in there, and wind that out. And just when you remove it, just make sure you put your finger on top of it to remove it out like that. Otherwise it can sort of drop down and whatnot and uh, make it difficult to find. So once we've got that removed, then we've got another T27, which is located just here. So we'll remove that. So disconnect your T20, grab your T27 that we used earlier, crack it, and zap that screw out. So what these two screws do is it just basically holds the bar in place, one up the top and one down here. Now this would be, uh, will, will come a little bit loose. Over time, the rubber seals on around the quarter glass window do sort of get a little bit sticky over time and it basically you'll just need to give it a wiggle to release it. Um, this window trim seal here, just remove that so that we can get our rubber channel and just slide straight up and pull out as well. And we'll just flip him over there for the meantime. Now the next thing you want to do is we need to get out this the rubber channel, uh, sorry, the, the window trim channel across on the outside here. So this needs to come up. So when you start to remove this channel here, good idea is to just start from this very end and just pop a plastic trim tool in there because it will be a little bit tight. So we'll just start in here and just get that in there and then just get another one in next to it and wiggle that loose. And then all you do is kind of crab walk your way along. Just loosen it up for now. You're not actually trying to remove it. Because like I said, over time, it just, um, it just basically just gets, fossilized in there. I don't even know if fossilized is a word. But what this is doing, it's sort of breaking the seal. This is gonna help you get it up. 
because it's always handy when you can get it up. <laughs> uh, so, now we've got to the end. You'll kind of find, it sounds a little bit contradictive, but if you turn the trim down towards you and leave it up at the same time, you'll get a little bit more leverage on it, so it's starting to come up now. And you'll see how dirty this is. Which is basically what's stopping it from coming up. But just make sure you don't grab it in one certain spot. You must work your way along evenly, otherwise you will damage it. It's getting there. So I'm just gonna give it a twist. So I'm sort of doing this in real time just so you can kind of gauge that you've just got to be delicate with it and it does take a little while. There we go. So once you crack that end, as you can see here, got this end cracked and we'll get the other end. And I'm, I think from memory, the last one had a little metal clip that it slots on into and it's riveted to the body of the car. So just sort of twist it towards you and lift up at the same time, there it is. There's our riveted. I'll just bring the camera in a bit closer. So as you can see, they're the rivets and you can sort of see how dirty it is over time, which is why it's been taking a little bit of uh, gentle persuasion to get it up there. And the reason why we do remove that um, molding is just so that we can get loosen up this rubber here in the quarter glass to be able to pull it out and free it from the body of the car. Alrighty, so what I've got is a couple of trim tools. So I'm just going to get these trim tools in here and just loosen up this rubber on the outside and then I'm just going to loosen it up on the inside. It's not overly complicated but like I said just these cars are getting a little bit older now and um, they just do need a little bit of love. There's lots of dirt down in here so I'm just going to loosen up that seal as well and then just swap around and go to the inside. Get the same tool in there and just Run the tool up in between that rubber and the frame. Okay, so now what I'm going to try and do is get one of my trim tools, get it up under that rubber and just try and lever it away. So see how it's coming away along here. So it's starting to free itself. And then we can re release that. Now I'm not going to pull it out all the way. Firstly, there's no need to. And secondly, the, um, the window is tinted, so I don't want to damage the tint on the glass. So I'm just going to leave it on the side of the, uh, the wind up window down there. So the next thing to do is to just try and release this seal in between the frame and the body of the car. So again, just get the tip and just slide it down through here like that. And do the same just along here. And you've got these little metal clips. So just go over through here and a little bit of uh, soapy water definitely helps. It's very dirty in here. Alrighty. So, I'll do it from the other side as well. So to do that, you've got this plastic surround here that you will need to remove. This is very simple. Just pop that off. 
and remove that. Get your soapy water bottle. Bit of soap in through here. And get your trim tool stick. And just try and crack that seal. A little bit of mucking around at the start, but they say prevention's better than cure. And just trying to find parts for these cars, I'm sure are getting a little bit more difficult. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a trim tool in here and just pull down so it's starting to move. And then I'm going to pull back down this way. So that's all been cracked, I think. So now I can sort of grab the glass and pull. And then we have your window out safe and sound. Um, so that's basically how we go about it. And then obviously installation. Uh, when you do go and um, obviously you're going to clean up all this area in here. Um, just slide it back in, put the, uh, pick up the bar and um, put the bar back into place like so. And then put your screws back in and um, happy days. Hope this video helped and um, I'll uh, look forward to putting up something else next time I see you. Will you see me? Catch you.